Ah, the big banks. Back in 2008, they almost crashed the global economy. Today, though, we can trust them to learn their lessons, to change, to be more responsible, right? Don't bank on it. According to a recent report co-authored by President Obama's own former top economic advisor, Larry Summers, big banks are no safer now than they were before the financial crisis, and the possibility of a too-big-to-fail scenario still looms. Look, the whole reason there was a multi-billion dollar bailout in 2008 was because the banks were deemed too big, too important. If they crashed, everything crashed. So everyone agreed those mega banks had to be reined in, made smaller. Too big to fail would soon become a relic of a discredited, reckless past. But hold on, what's this? Of the 15 banks that received the most bailout money, 11 are now bigger than they were before the recession, even after adjusting for inflation. Oh dear. And it gets worse. A recent official review found five of the US's biggest banks failed to persuade regulators they could go bankrupt without disrupting the broader financial system. Senator Elizabeth Warren, an expert on financial reform and bankruptcy laws, called the news scary. Apparently, size does matter. Remember, being too big to fail also means too big to jail. Only one Wall Street banker was prosecuted and imprisoned in the wake of the crash. An Egyptian-born mid-level executive at Credit Suisse called Kareem Sarah Geldin. The rest, including the bosses, got off scot-free. Sorry, Kareem. See, no punishment equals no consequences and no real lessons learned. Look at the recent news that Wells Fargo, the massive US retail bank, is launching a stealth attack on the investment banking world. Yes, the same Wells Fargo that built itself into the world's most valuable bank in the wake of the financial crisis, partly because it did not rely on risky trades or complex derivatives. On a side note, Wells Fargo did recently get fined $185 million for creating over 2 million false accounts. But uh, anyways. Now it wants to get into derivatives, despite legendary investor Warren Buffett having famously described derivatives as financial weapons of mass destruction. But here's the teeny-weeny irony. Buffett has a 10% stake in Wells Fargo and seems to be on board with the bank's plans. So, get bigger and bigger in size, go for investment banking over retail banking, expand into complex derivatives, and wait for the next crash. Have these people learned nothing?